Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the 1985 NBA Slam Dunk Championship. I'm Rod Hundley along with John Andres. It's our pleasure to bring this championship to you, one of the most exciting parts of basketball. And, John, you got to love it. It'll excite this crowd, a sellout here at Market Square Arena. Rod, when the players came out, the participants, they went wild. The Gatorade Slam Dunk is the major event right at this moment, and it always thrills people, as it did last year in Denver. I mean, this place will be rocking. All right, we're picking up the action here. Here's contestant number one, Dominique Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks, his second attempt in the first round. Oh, Rod, a reverse, two-handed. I think many people thought that uh, Dominique should have won it last year, and he's going to show us a lot of things today like that. He has great spring in his legs, really a showman. They call him the human highlight film as we look again. Creativity, that's one of the very important criteria to do well in the slam dunk today. Look at that scoreboard. So Dominic Wilkins Wilson. sets down and waits for his score. As Clyde the Glide Drexler, former member of the Phi Slamma Jamma at the University of Houston, that fraternity, now with the Portland Trailblazers. Here oh. comes Clyde the Glide. Clyde, a one-handed reverse at 6'7". He's the ideal height to impress the judges in the slam dunk. And I want to tell you, Rod, you know I'm one of them. <laughs> I gave him an eight on that. As you look again, and you'll see why he got an eight. Reverse slam with a right hand. Another player has tremendous spring and not that tall. Now here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. One of the hot candidates for Rookie of the Year honors as he slams at home. Michael starts easy. I'm going to give him an eight on that, too. I know he's capable of a lot more. At 6'6", he can do an awful lot of things midair. And we look again on the reverse, just down the road in the windy city of Chicago. A big favorite here in Indianapolis at the Market Square Arena. A great dunk by the sensational rookie from North Carolina. Here's Daryl Griffith of the Utah Jazz. Six foot four guard, the smallest member of the competitors here in this action. What a beauty, a reverse two-handed while passing the, the basket, he stuffs it down backwards. Now a guy at six four to be able to do this is something else. He did some stuff in the air as you can see. That's Dr. Duncan style of the Utah Jazz, Daryl Griffith. He averaged 22 points a game on the year. So Griffith looks up at his score. And now the local favor, Terrence Stansbury, a rookie from Temple. Woo! 360. How about that one? Stansbury filling in for Charles Barkley, who couldn't make it due to personal reasons. Stansbury was very nervous before this event. Boy, right, look at the fans. They absolutely love this young man. 6-5. We look again. Watch the first 360, the 360 squares away and jams it home. One-handed. Rod, right, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. That was super. And the fans love him, as you can see him taking a high five. You know one what, more time. You know what makes this move Wallace spectacular? He leaves the, the ground the on Indiana one Pacers. foot, not off two feet like Bulls, most people do. Dame, one foot. Orlando Woolridge. So Terrence Stansbury slamming it home. Here's Orlando Woolridge of the Chicago Bulls reverse hammer shot. He is so athletic. No Orlando is showing at 6'9 how athletic he Orlando can be. And again, that's one of the criteria, and he showed it off there. Backwards, moving in the air. Wow. Boy, with this guy along with Michael Jordan, they have brought basketball back to Chicago with a bang. Orlando Woolridge. I'm giving Orlando a 9 on that. Here's Dominic Wilkins with a reverse slam. Dominique is unbelievable. Every dunk he seems to execute is done with such power. Tremendous effort. Absolutely great, great, great star, player. The Hawks, they call Wilkins. him the human highlight Once film. Again, and at Atlanta, he has really helped their basketball Drexler. program. Let's watch again. This is awfully hard to do. When you take your eye off the basket, spin all the way around, leap in the air, and still have that great body control as well as sight on the basket. Rod, that's a 10 for this judge. Somebody's disagreeing, though. <laughs> How about my, Michael Jordan on this slam? Michael has an uncanny ability to hang in the air so long. Michael Jordan. I think this kid is going to be a future to great, great star. The all-around ability of a Dr. J, a Larry Bird. He's already being compared on this his first year. Sen I'm, sensational player. I'm calling that one an eight, Rod. He didn't leave the ground that early, and he did and his stuff vertical instead of that. He didn't show us that great takeoff that he has. Here's Terrence Stansbury. Watch this. Bounce it, catch it, and slam it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this guy's doing some job. He was nervous, as I mentioned, before the uh, competition began, but he doesn't look it. He looks like he's right into it. I'll tell you again, too, there's 17,000 plus here. A sellout market arena here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, this is creative. 
Now I'm calling this one an eight, Rod. You know why? Because he hits the rim on the way down, and the perfect and slam. The you don't with the perfect down. slam. You don't have that rim contact. Points. So he gets a 34, and he certainly doesn't like that. That score was incorrect. He was scheduled to receive a total of 40 points. Thus, we have a tie for the right to advance between Chicago's Michael Jordan and the Pacers. Terrence Stansbury. Well, there was a computer malfunction, and we're going to have a sudden dunk now with Stansbury and Michael Jordan to see who goes into the next round. All right, here's Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. Six-six rookie slam. Beautiful. Out of sight. Well, he put that ball, he locked it in his wrist, went in, and then from the side, dunked it home, and then winked up into the crowd. Right, I'm going to give him a 10 on that. That was creative, and the man certainly showed his athleticism and style. The so score cool, from Michael cool Jordan cucumber. Look at this. Sporting. Wrap around, reach back, and slam it home. So now that's going to put some pressure on Terrence Stansbury. He's looking Michael down Jordan court, and there's a reason. Look at these kids Terrence down here. They're his coaches. Indeed. They're going to tell him what to do. <laughs> his <He's>... consultants. <laughs> Come on, give him the back They want to see a reverse. A second dunk off. Terrence Stansbury. Fine rookie. Out of to win here he comes. Six five. Oh, he goes. man. He got the reverse. <laughs> Right, as a judge, I got to call that one a 10. Well, you can give him a 10, but I don't think all the judges did. And again, it looks like we got a malfunction on the computer. As you look again at this the dunk, I thought in my mind that Jordan's dunk was a little better. Well, I'll tell you, they were both very close, Rod, and I think the scoring indicated was not correct. The judges are going to confer on this now. It looks like Stansbury is the winner. Jordan graciously accepts defeat. But the judges are going to talk this one over, and it's going to be decided now that Jordan and Stansbury are going to go into the semifinal round. So we'll have five competitors in the semifinals. That was the only thing and the right thing to do. And so we'll start that round once again with Dominic Wilkins. The Whoa. hammer with the right hand. Boy, that's a 10 to me. I may be too generous today, but that was a super move. Power soaring in the 